Hello guys, how are you today? Last time we talked about hair and scalp care, right? Now, we will continue our lesson. But before we continue our lesson, we will have a short review, alright? Hair care is an overall term for parts of hygiene and cosmetology involving the hair on the human head. Hair care will differ according to one's hair type and according to various processes that can be applied to hair. All hair is not the same. Indeed, hair is a manifestation of human diversity. Ibig sabihin, yung buhok natin magkakaiba yan. Katulad ng sinabi ko nung nakaraan, no? Merong mahaba, merong maikli, merong kulot, merong hindi kulot, merong dry, merong magaspang, merong smooth, no? Something like that. Sa ganong paraan, magkakaiba rin ang pamamaraan natin kung papaano natin ito pangalagaan. To keep hair healthy, beautiful, proper attention must be given to its care and treatment. Kung papaano natin sa alang-alang, no, yung mga bagay na magpapanatili ng kagandahan at kalinisan ng ating buhok. Alright. Now, what we are going to study today is all about hair cutting. What is hair cutting, guys? Hair cutting is the art of trimming or cutting or shaving the hair with the help of scissors or shears or any other tool. The quality of hair cut depends on the quality of the tools that are used. Bad tools can be obstacles to a good hair cut. Ayan. Ibig sabihin ng hair cutting, kung paano natin pangalagaan yung kalinisan ng ating buhok. Siyempre, gugupitan natin ito. Ititrim natin ito. No? I-shape natin ito gamit ang gunting. Or kahit anumang kagamitan na pwedeng pangkat sa ating buhok. Alright? Like what I've said before, no, the quality of a haircut depends on the quality of the tools that are used. Siyempre, bad tools can be obstacles to a good haircut. Magiging maganda ang kalalabasan ng buhok natin kapag nakat na yan, depende no, dun sa gunting na ating gagamitin. Siyempre, kapag maganda yung gunting na gagamitin natin, maganda rin yung kalalabasan. Pag yan, pangit, papurol, something like that. Pangit din yung kalalabasan no? ng pagkakagupit sa ating buhok. Alright? It is wise to choose the best tool to achieve this style and results as aspired. Ayan. The hair cutting tools used are instruments of creativity. Ayan. Pwede nating gupitan yung ating buhok. No? Yung iba't ibang style gamit yung gunting na yan. Alright? We have materials tools, and implements used in hair cutting. What are those? Hair cutting tools. All hairs are not the same. Ang buhok natin, hindi magkakapareho. And neither are the hair cutting tools. Unique hair cutting tools are to be used for different hair volumes and different hair styles. Kaya naman, nakadepende, no? Yung kalalabasan ng kagandahan ng ating buhok, depende yan sa gunting, no? sa tools na ating gagamitin. Alright, did you get my point guys? Okay. The first one is hair shaping scissors. Ayan, what do you notice guys? Hair shaping scissors are specially designed types of scissors that are utilized to trim and style hair. Ayan, ito yung kadalasan nating ginagamit sa paggugupit ng ating buhok. No? It has pointed tip with cutting edges on both sides. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, no? the grip has different holes. One for the thumb, the other one for the middle or ring finger. Ayan, magkaiba yung kanilang butas. Nang sa ganon, kapag ginamit natin yan, comfortable tayo. Alright, that is hair shaping scissor. Ayan. Next. Thinning shear. What is the use of thinning shear, guys? Thinning shear is shear with one serrate blade. Ayan. Kung makikita nyo, parang siyang merong ngipin. Ayan. 
It is used for thinning hair. Ito yung ginagamit kadalasan, no? Para bawasan yung ating buhok, no? This shear is especially made for thinning out thick hair. Ayan, ito yung kadalasan na ginagamit sa mga makakapal ang buhok, no? Para itrim yung kanilang buhok, okay? Para mabawasan ng kaunti. Alright? That is thinning shear. Alright, next. Straight razor. What is the use of straight razor? Straight razor is a razor with a blade that can fold into its handle. It is commonly used by a barber in shaving beards and mustaches. And so with the nape of a patron for a cleaner effect. Ayan, ito yung kadalasan ginagamit natin. Barbero. No? Ginagamit ito pantanggal ng balbas, no, ng bigote, no, something like that. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, meron siyang handle na kung saan, dun mo pwedeng itago yung blade. Ayan, napaka-safe gamitin yan. Alright, that is a straight razor. Next. Single edge razor with safety guard. Ayan. What is the difference between straight razor and single edge razor with safety guard? And single edge razor with safety guard is a shaving implement with a protective device positioned between the edge of the blade and the skin. Ayan. Kung magkikita nyo, no? This razor has a safety guard which serves as a comb. And also used for thinning out thick hair. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, para siyang merong comb. Inilalagay yan dun sa mismong blade. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, ginagamit din ito upang pang trim ng ating buhok. Pwede rin siyang gamitin pang alis at pang tanggal ng balbas o bigote. Pwede mo kasing alisin yung um, safety guard niya. No? Yung parang which serves as a comb. Ayan. That is single edge razor with safety guard. Ayan. Next. Double edge razor with safety guard. Ayan. It has two edges protected by a comb like metal attached into the blade. Used in this shaving implements is the common blade used on razors. No? And available at most stores. Ayan. Kung makikita nyo, ano, meron siyang dalawang blade, ayan, edges, na kung saan pwede mong gamitin, no, magkabila. Ito rin yung kadalasan na ginagamit pantanggal ng balbas at bigote. Alright, that is double edge razor with safety guard. Ayan. Next. Clipper. What is the use of clipper, guys? Clipper, this is an electrically operated shaving instrument that gives a tapering effect to the haircut at the back of the head. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, ito yung kadalasan na makikita sa, mga, sa barber shop. No, ito yung kadalasan na ginagamit ng barbero. Alright, ginagamit din ito pang, pang gupit. Ayan, para gumanda, maging malinis, yung kalalabasan ng ating buhok kapag tayo nagupitan. Alright? That is clipper. Guys, always remember that. Alright? Okay. Next. Okay, we also have other materials used in hair cutting and shaping. Ayan, number one, combs. Ayan, or comb. Comb is a device made of solid material, which is generally flat, always stood, and it is used in hair care for straightening and cleaning hair. Ayan. We have different types of combs. No? Number one, white tooth combs. Ayan. White tooth comb. This is generally used for smoothing out tangles, keeping hair healthy by making it free of tangles. 
Ayan. Why tooth combs are better than brushes? As they do not pull or break your hair. No, napakagandang gamitin ng white tooth comb. And a white tooth comb is a comb with large spacing between the teeth. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, no? napakaluwang, no? Nung kanilang pagitan. Alright, they are excellent for detangling long or short hair as well as sectioning hair for styling. Ayan, ito yung kadalasan nating ginagamit, no? Lalo na kapag meron buhol-buhol yung ating buhok, napaka um, gandang gamitin ito. Pantanggal na mga buhol-buhol sa ating buhok. Ayan. That is wide tooth combs. Next. Rat tail comb or fine tooth tail comb. This type of comb is nice for styling and parting hair. Ayan. Kung magkikita nyo kaya siya tinawag na rat tail comb, Kasi yung hawakan niya, parang buntot ng daga. Alright? A comb for the hair having a narrow, ayan, kung magkita nyo, pointed handle used in styling the hair. Ayan, kung gusto nating lagyan ng style yung ating buhok, no, pwede natin itong gamitin. That is rat tail comb or fine tooth tail comb. Alright? Next. Fix comb. And what's, what's the use of fix comb? This type of comb is very good in lifting the hair away from the head. It is also used to add volume and in styling and also for parting hair. Ayan. It's a type of comb that is flat and square shape. Kung makikita nyo, no? And like a painter's brush but with harder teeth. Ayan. Merong plastic, no? Merong steel, no? Magikita nyo. It is used for combing and grooming very curly, thick, or textured hair. Ayan. Magikita nyo, ito yung kadalasan na ginagamit sa salon. No? Kapag kukulayan yung ating buhok, no? Ito yung ginagamit ng sa ganon, um, papanatili natin, No? Kapag kinukulayan natin yung buhok, i-lift natin Pang sa ganun makulayan. Alright? Section by section. Alright? Did you get my point, guys? Okay, next. Styling combs with metal pins. What is the use of styling comb? Styling comb, this type is used for styling and smoothing. Alright, this comb is ideal for creating app do styles. Ayan, napakagandang gamitin ito, no? Gusto mong um, lagyan ng style yung inyong buhok. Para siyang rat tail comb. Ayan, uh, magkatulad sila ng gamit. Alright, use for styling. At syempre, kapag gusto mong um, maging madulas yung, yung buhok, Pwede mo rin itong gamitin. It's used for smoothing your hair. Ayan, that is styling combs with metal pins. Alright, next. Fine and wide tooth comb. Ayan, or regular comb. Anong gamit niyan? This type of comb is divided into two parts. One part have a close, no? And the other a wide tooth. Ayan, kung magkikita nyo, no, what do you observe? Yung kabilang side, kakadikit siya. And the other side, no, meron siyang space. Medyo maluwang yung kanyang space. That is regular comb or fine and wide tooth comb. Ayan, this type of comb is used regularly. Ito yung kadalasan natin ginagamit. And it can be used to smoothen hair. Okay, para maging madulas yung ating buhok, no? pwede natin itong gamitin. Alright, that is fine and wide tooth comb. Alright, next. Teasing combs. What is the use of teasing comb? And this type of comb is used in teasing hair. What do you mean by teasing? No? To make hair look fuller or 
bigger by combining it in a special way. Ayan, kung makikita nyo siya, no? Para siyang rat tail comb. Pero ang pinagkaiba nila, no? Meron siyang maliit. Meron siyang malaking ngipin. Ayan, that is teasing comb. Alright. Next. Cape. What is the use of cape, guys? It is used to protect the patron's clothes. Ayan. Ito yung kadalasan na ginagamit sa salon, sa barbershop, nang sa ganun, hindi madumihan yung ating damit. Kapag tayo'y ginugupitan, no? at kapag tayo ay kinukulayan, kung sakali mang kinukulayan yung ating buhok, pwede, pwede rin gamitin ito. Nang sa ganun, hindi mamansahan, hindi madumihan yung ating damit. Next. Barber's brush. What is the use of barber's brush? Okay. A soft bristle brush used for dusting away hair remnant clinging to the drip or skin of the customer. It comes in various shapes and sizes. Ayan. Traditionally, the barber's brush is used to wipe away, no? Freshly cut hair on the nape of the neck and surrounding areas during and or after a haircut. Ito yung ginagamit ng sa ganon maalis yung mga buhok na kung saan nagupitan na nakakalat sa ating um, balikat. Siyempre, hindi maiiwasan yan, no? Ito yung ginagamit natin ng sa ganon malinis. Alright? Next. Water sprayer. Ayan. Water sprayer is used to wet the hair when cutting or trimming. Ito yung kadalasan din na ginagamit sa salon at sa barbershop. Ayan. It is made of plastic or bottle with a hose and nozzle and a regulator. It comes in various colors, shapes, and sizes. Ayan kung makikita nyo. Okay. That is water sprayer. Next. Do all clip. Do all clip, it holds the section here when parting. Alright. This size, 3 inches to 5 inches long and usually made of plastic and metal or full metal. No? It is very useful in hair shaving like the rest of the other tools. Ayan, ito yung ginagamit natin pang clip sa ating buhok. Ito yung kadalasan na ginagamit. Alright, that is do all clip. It holds the section here when parting. Alright? Next. Hair setting. What do you mean by hair setting, guys? Hair setting... It's a form of hair styling that alters the shape of the hair temporarily. Okay? Kung paano mo ayusin yung iyong buhok, no? kung paano mo ito pagandahin. Hair can be set using wet set rollers of all kinds to create a curly style that lasts longer and provide more curl and body than any other set. There are different types of hair setting. Ayan. Papagita ko sa inyo, no? Ayan. Pin curling, roller curl, and curler setting pattern. Ayan. We also have implements and materials in hair setting. The first one, pin curl clip. Ayan. Ito yung katul uh, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, ito yung kadalasan natin gamitin, no? Para i-clip yung ating buhok. What's the use of pin curl clip? Pin curl clip, it is used to keep the curl in place. Ayan. Hinahawakan niya. Pinapanatili niya, no? Yung ating buhok. Ayan, kapag nakaklip siya. Ayan, napakagandang gamitin niya. That is pin curl clip. Alright? Next. Earpads. What is the use of earpads? 
ear pads, it protect the ears while under the dryer. Katulad halimbawa, kapag pinakulay natin yung ating buhok, no, kailangan nating maglagay ng ear pads. Nang sa ganon, hindi malagyan, matuluan, something like that, yung ating tenga. Okay, baka mapasukan ng um, chemical substance yung ginagamit sa pangkulay. No? Kaya kailangan gumamit tayo ng ganito. Alright, that is ear pads. Alright. Okay, next. Number three. Tail comb. Ayan, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. It is used in separating hair strands and removing tangles. Ayan, kung makikita nyo sa larawan, no? They are using tail comb. Ayan. Used in separating hair strands and removing tangles. Nang sa ganang mawag maalis yung mga buhol-buhol sa ating buhok. Ayan. Next, number four, rollers. What is the use of rollers? Rollers are cylindrical objects on which hair is wound to produce curls or waves. Ayan. Gumagamit yung iba ng rollers, no? Para i-curl yung kanilang buhok. Papalipasin nila yan, no? Nang mga ilang ilang oras, nang sa ganun, mapanatili yung pagiging curl ng kanilang buhok. Ayan, that is rollers. Alright? Next. Rollers clip. What is the use of rollers clip? Are used to keep the rollers in place. Ayan, para hindi maalis, gumalaw-galaw yung rollers kapag nalagay na siya. Okay? Para mapanatili yung pagiging curl ng ating buhok. Alright? Especially sa mga babae. No? That is roller clips. Triangular hair net. What's the use of triangular hair net? It is used overhead after hair setting to keep the rollers in place while drying. No? Kapag walang roller clip, pwede mong gamitin ang triangular Hairnet. Nang sa ganon, mapanatili din yung pagiging curl ng ating buhok. At nang sa ganon, hindi gumalaw-galaw yung rollers kapag nailagay niya siya. Alright. At kapag pinapatuyo yung ating buhok. Ayan. Next. Hair blower. Is an apparatus used in drying the hair. That's the use of hair blower. Ito yung ginagamit no, para mapabilis yung pagkatuyo ng ating buhok. That is hair blower. Alright. Next. Okay. Number 8. Hair sprayer or hair sprayers are containers for spray net. Ayan. Ito yung kadalasan na ginagamit no, kapag gusto nating mamintin yung kagandahan ng ating buhok at para hindi ito gumalaw-galaw. Ito yung merong sprayer kasi na pampatigas. Meron ding hair sprayer na pampalambot. Ayan. That's the use of hair sprayer. Ayan. Ginagamit yung hair sprayer, no? Um, pagminsan, kapag inaayos yung ating buhok para hindi ito gumalaw, no? Para hindi ito magulo, ginagamitan siya ng hair sprayer. Alright? Number 9. End papers. End papers are porous papers used for easier hair winding, especially when hair is of various length. Ito yung ginagamit natin, no? Lalo na sa mga ma mahahaba ang buho, inirroll ito nang sa ganon mapanatili. No? Yung kagandahan pagiging curl ng buhok natin especially sa mga babae as you can see no on the picture ayan iroroll yan and then i-clip all right that is and papers number 10 gels gels are semi solids used in moist styling ito yung kadalasan na ginagamit ng mga lalaki no Nang sa ganon, mapanatili yung kagandahan at kalinisan ng aming buhok. 
Ayan, that is Jeff. Okay. Next. Setting lotion. What is the use of setting lotion? Ayan. It's a cosmetic used in setting the hair, making it easy to manage and responsive to setting techniques. Katulad nga nang kasi nabi ko kanina, ginagamit yung setting lotion pang palambot ng ating buhok. Nang sa ganon, madali siyang ayusin. Kung gusto natin siyang lagyan ng style, maari natin gawin through the use of setting lotion para mapadali, mapabilis. Alright, pang palambot ng ating buhok. Especially sa mga babae. Oh, ginagamit yan. Alright. Okay, we have methods of hair setting. What are those? Pin curl. What is pin curl, guys? A pin curl is a curl that has been produced by being wound and pinned directly against the head rather than using a roller or other device. Alright, the hair is pinned while done, and the pins are typically left in overnight, although blue drying is often used to speed up the process. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, it's a curl made usually by dump dumping a strand of hair with water or lotion, coiling it, and securing it by a hairpin or clip. Ayan. Pin curl, kung paano natin i-curl yung ating buhok sa tulong ng pin para mapanatili yung pagiging curl ng ating buhok. Alright? Parts of a pin curl. Number one, base. The immovable foundation of the curl which is attached to the scalp. Papakita ko mamaya sa inyo. It may be a square, oblong, or triangle. It decides the size of the resulting curl or wave. Ayan. What about stem? Stem, the part of the pin curl between the base and the first arc or turn of the circle. It gives the curl direction, action, and mobility. Ayan. Stem, ito yung ating buhok. Papakita ko mamaya sa inyo. Circle, the part of the pin curl forming a complete circle. Ayan, direction may be clockwise or counterclockwise. Parts of a pin curl, ayan, yung base, yung mismong scalp natin. Yun yung tinatawag na base, yung mismong scalp. Okay, yung stem, kung paano inirol, no, kinurl yung ating buhok. Ayan, that is stem kung gaano siya kahaba, kalaki. And circle, yung form of curls. Ayan, kapag pinaikot na siya, kapag niroll na siya. That is circle. Okay. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for listening and I hope you have learned a lot. Okay, good day and God bless.